Now, Mr. Menendez, these massages that your father gave you in your room in, in Muncie, was this the first time your father had ever massaged you in any way? No. What were the previous massages like? And where did they occur? Uh, at swimming. He would massage my legs, my thighs, my calves to get me ready to go swimming. And the massages in your room, how did they begin? I mean, what types of massages were they in the beginning? Just the body massages. Like what you got for swimming? Similar. He would have me strip off my clothes until I was just wearing my underwear and lie down on my stomach. And would he tell you why he was massaging you? Yes. What would he say? He would say it's just to relieve the, the stress because he would say that the stress built up because of sports and there, there was so much... Uh, tension and, and uh, stress that I would need to do this to relax. And at some point, while you were still living at Muncie, did the massages change in character in any way? Yes. And what was the change? Um, he had me take off my underwear. And when you took off your underwear, did he do things that he had not done before? Yes. What did he do? Um, he would have me turn over onto my back. Okay, what would he do? He would massage my genitals. And did that go on, I mean, how frequent were these massages? Two, three times a month. And was there a period when the massages would be what you've just described, and then they changed again? Something new was added? I don't understand. When your father massaged your genitals, as you've just described, was he using his hands? Yes. At some point after that, did he start doing something else? Yeah, very soon after. I, I don't even really distinguish between times. Um, what was the next type of activity called? What did he call it? Uh, massaging me with his mouth. And what part of your body would he massage with his mouth? My penis. And how did your father behave with you when these massages were taking place? How did he treat you? He was great. Um, he was he was kind. Uh, he never said anything negative to me. Uh, he told me that I was part of the family and that that I belonged, and that this was this was good. And did he tell you anything about the activity he was engaged in with you? Did he tell you anything about the massages? What were they? They were to relieve the stress and the tension, and that's what they were there for. Were they something that you were supposed to tell everybody about? No, of course not. No. Why do you say, he, of course not? Well, well, he explained to me very clearly that this was something between us, and what he said is that this would stop if... I told anyone, and then I wouldn't be alone with him anymore, and then I wouldn't get this attention. So he told you to keep it a secret? Yes. Um, and did you want it to stop? No. Why? Because it was the only time I got to uh, spend alone with my dad. It was the only time I got to be with him and, and for him to be nice and caring with me. So did that make you feel better about your relationship with your father, these massages that were happening? It made me feel like... Overall, your answer. made me feel like I had a relationship with my dad. Now, apart from these times when he was alone with you, doing these massages, did he treat you better than he had in the past? Yes, he, he, he seemed to care about me. He seemed to love me, and, uh, and that's all that I wanted. Now, is that both when he's doing the massages and at all other times? In other words, did he suddenly become nice to you all the time? No, only when he was in the room. Well, my question is, when he was not in the room, how was his behavior towards you? He was like he always was. He was mean. He was sarcastic. He didn't seem to care about me very much. He was just like he normally was. And strike that. Now, for as long, uh, from, from the beginning of these massages in your room, for as long as you lived in Muncie, did your father do the things that you've already described, these hand and mouth massages? Yes. 
At some point, you recall the family moved to New Jersey? Yes. And do you recall any activity like this, massages type activity, occurring uh, in the house on, and I can not remember if it's north or south, but Mill Road? Yes. And was it the same kind of activity, the hand and mouth massages? Um, yeah, it was similar. It changed at one point, but uh, it was the same type of activity. Now, in addition to that activity, which was what he was doing to you, uh, had he at any point while you lived in Muncie uh, started asking you to do things to him? Yes. And up until the point when you left Muncie, what sorts of things did he have you do to him? Um, he was just asking me to massage uh, his body with his back. He used to have his underwear on and he never took it off. Just his legs and his um, back and his shoulders. Now, at some point, Mr. Menendez, did the massages that you were doing on your father change? Yes. And uh, did he, was there an occasion when he asked you to do something new? Yes. And what was it? Would you tell us what it was that he asked you to do? Um, he took off his underwear, and it, uh, he had never done that before. And uh, he had me massage the front of him. And yes. so I started, I massaged his calves and his thighs, and, and, I, and I skipped over um, his genitals because I didn't, I didn't want to touch him. And I just went to his stomach, and uh, he said no. And did you understand what he meant? Yes. And what, what happened next? I just touched him. And did anything else happen after you, you touched his genitals? Yes. And did anything else happen? Yes. What happened? Well, I started to rub him, and then he told me to massage him with his mouth. With his mouth? With my mouth. And do you remember whether or not, at that point, your father had an erection? Yes, he did. And how did you feel about his asking you to massage him with your mouth? I didn't want to do that because I I had never um, I had never seen him like that and I didn't quite I didn't want to do it. Did it frighten you? Did yes. You, did you uh, therefore refuse and that mm -hmm. ended things? No, I I wanted this time to go on with my dad. I didn't want it to end, so I was going to do what he said. I just didn't want to do all things. Did you do what he asked you to do during that session? Yes. And what happened when you tried to do that? I, uh, I gagged. He put his hand on my head and, and he shoved my, my, my head on his, on his penis and it went in too far and I tried to push away and he, he just did it. He tried to be calm about it and be nice, but it was just, it was too big and it was too far inside me and I just, pulled away. Now, did he get angry or upset with you on that occasion? No. So it was still nice? No, I mean, it was, it, was, it was nice to be with him. I didn't like what I was doing, but I figured that it was just me and then I would get used to it. Uh, I didn't think my dad was doing something wrong. Um, did you think anything that had happened up till then was wrong or unnatural or abnormal or weird or anything like that? No. Did your dad, uh, strike that, excuse me, Your Honor, did your father uh, talk to you about whether what was going on between um, you and, and he was okay or right or normal or historical or anything like that? Yes, he said it was something that was supposed to happen and um, he often referred to ancient times in the Romans and the Greeks and, and how they used to have sex before battle and mm -hmm and talk about how this was natural and this was supposed to happen. And did you, um, now you're about how old now, seven, eight? Uh, I'm in the North Mill house. So you're about seven? Yes. Do you think your father was a real smart guy when you were seven? Yes. Did you feel your father was 
very knowledgeable? I thought he knew everything. Did you believe everything he told you? Yes. And so, did you believe that what he told you about this was true? Yes. And did you continue to believe that for a while? I believed that for a long time. Now this, uh, strike that, after the North Mill Road house, the family then moved to Pennington? Yes. And the activities that you've now described, uh, did they continue in the Pennington house? Yes. Did you have a room of your own in the North Mill Road house? Yes. And did you continue to have a room of your own in the Pennington house? Yes. And the activity that you've described so far with your father giving you two kinds of massages and you giving him two kinds of massages, did that continue the same uh, when you were in the Pennington house? Yes, I didn't think of it as two kinds of massages, though. Uh, well, I know I'm calling it that for now, okay? After this occasion when your father um, asked you to do a mouth massage, did he continue to ask you to do massages with your hands? Yes. And were there other episodes of mouth massages where you were doing that for your father? It would be one and the other, one after another. And was he continuing to do the two kinds of massages to you? Yes, he would almost always um, come in my room and do it to me first, and then I would just follow whatever he was doing. So you tried to do to him what he was doing to you? Yes, that's what I did. And at some point, did the nature of these incidents change? Did he either stop doing certain things he had been doing? Did he start doing other things? Did he have you do other things? Uh, yes. Okay, tell me what the change was. He, uh, he started using uh, different tools and wanting me to um, do things to him so that he would show me how and he would do them to me and so on. What do you mean by tools? He had this wooden, uh, it was about this long, and it had a little knob at the end, and it was roundish. And uh, uh, he would tell me to use that on myself, and he would show me how to use it on him, and then he would use it on me. And what part of your body were you supposed to use this thing on? My, uh, my butt. And did this uh, use of this tool continue over a period of time? Only a, a short time until he started uh, showing me how to use uh, my penis. I didn't call it that at the time, but that's what it was. And he started to show you how to use your penis to do something to him? Yes. Uh, All right. Mr. Menendez, do you have some idea of approximately how old you were when your father started uh, showing you how to do something with your yeah, penis? Yeah, I was still swimming. I, uh, I believe I was in fifth grade. Fifth grade? Yeah. So you would have been 10? Yes. And at some point, uh, had he taught you what he wanted you to do to him with your penis? Yes. And was there a period when you were having anal intercourse with your father where you were the person penetrated? Yes. And during this period of time, what was the mood of these incidents with your father? I didn't like what was going on. I thought it was really dirty, and uh, but the mood was light, 
and he would show me how to do something and and talk about it matter of factly and and, and talk about how this was normal and this was supposed to be done and like anything else. Was he still being nice? Yes. Now, when when he... This wooden implement, you said he showed you how to do use it on him, but you were also supposed to use it on yourself? Yes, he wanted me... He gave me that and uh, another thing to use on myself when, when he wasn't. He was trying to do uh, it to me. But it wasn't working. It was. When you say it wasn't working, was it hurting? Yes. So. All right. The objection is overruled as to that question. But counsel, please refrain from asking leading questions. Okay. Um, how did your father react at that stage uh, to things hurting you? Um, he was nice about it. He didn't want to hurt me. Um, so what, what would he do if something was hurting you? Would he continue to do it? Would no, he stop? he'd stop. And did you ever use that wooden thing on yourself when he wasn't around? No. Did you know why he wanted you, did he say why he wanted you to use that thing? Yes. What did he tell you? I don't remember exactly what he told me, but I knew why. It was so that I could practice on myself, so that it wouldn't hurt anymore when he did. Now, at some point, did your father stop being nice? Yes. Approximately how old were you? I was uh, 11 years old, it was just after I finished swimming. What do you mean by finish swimming? Uh, swimming had ended. I ended swimming and uh, <coughs> it was started after that point. 